Hey friends, one of the most popular liqueurs that we sell at the restaurant is Bailey's Irish Cream. And this is an easy project that you can make at home. This makes for a wonderful gift that you can make for your friends or family, especially during the holiday season. This is the equipment you're going to need. I'm gonna use a blender. However, if you are not using a blender, you can do this very easily using a mixing bowl and a whisk, and you'll need a funnel that will fit into the bottle that you're gonna put your liqueur in. So let's get started by talking about the flavor notes that we're working with. Now, the two main flavor components of this classic liqueur is whiskey and cream. Now, does it have to be Jameson's? No. Does it have to be Irish whiskey? No. It needs to be a fairly smooth, mild tasting whiskey. You can use Irish whiskey, you can use Canadian is a good one. You can use a very mild American. What I would stay away from is a very oaked bourbon or a very peaty and smoky scotch because that's gonna get in the way of that classic flavor. In fact, part of the origin story of this classic liqueur is that it was introduced in 1971 and it used whiskey from a money losing distillery that had a surplus amount of whiskey and they figured out a new product that they can push with it. Now for today's batch, I am using some Powers whiskey. <laughs> Burns like hellfire. What I'm going to start out with is the whiskey and this is quite a bit. Let's talk cream. We're going to get this element by using a combination of sweetened condensed milk, not evaporated milk. Make sure you get condensed milk and heavy cream. Now, the all important. Holy moly, look at that. That is pure richness. Okay, so let's discuss the secondary flavor notes that you're going to get in this liqueur. Let's start with chocolate. Now, you can get all fancy and get single estate grown, sold only in Brooklyn, cocoa powder. But the reality is when they were making Baileys in the first test batch, they were using Nesquik milk chocolate powder. So today I have something you can very easily make milk chocolate out of, which is I have the Hershey's Simply Five chocolate syrup. If you want to get into using your own cocoa powder, remember that is unsweetened. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is mix in an additional amount of sweetener to compensate for that and a little bit of liquid. So the best thing to do would be to mix simple syrup, which is an equal parts blend of sugar and water and then your cocoa powder of choice. I'm just gonna use this. And I have my chocolate syrup. The leftover is the gift for the maker. Mm. The next flavor note that we're going to be layering in is the note of coffee. What I'm using here is a good instant coffee granules. If you've ever traveled abroad and you've been away from a place where you can get some really good fresh brewed coffee, you'll know that Classico is a lifesaver. Also, when you're going camping. Why are we using instant coffee? Well, if you were to use brewed coffee, what it's going to do is dilute the final product and change the viscosity of the liqueur. Okay, I have my coffee granules here. So one of the secret hero ingredients to almost any item that is of a sweet nature, and that is vanilla. You know how people say butter makes everything better? Well, vanilla makes everything of a sweet nature better. It kind of works in the background and then helps bring forward everything else. Finally, I'm not certain that Bailey's uses this, but I find that it certainly helps improve my version and that is a pinch of nutmeg. So those two tiny pinches, three tiny pinches, probably equal a pinch. You notice that I have not put in my heavy cream yet. To avoid curdling at all costs, what I'm gonna do is mix this as much as possible and then finally blend in the heavy cream. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to add my heavy cream in. You'll notice I didn't add all of it. Remember, recipes are basically a framework for the house you're trying to build. What you wanna do is, once you understand the basics and know it and feel comfortable enough, then you can start making alterations. What I want you to do is figure out, do you like the level of thickness? Do you like the alcohol? 
Mm. If you want it a little bit looser, you can add more. If this particular set recipe, you want it even thicker, what I would do is increase the amount of condensed milk. And if you're satisfied with the thickness, let's do the final taste test. Oh man, that is some damn good stuff. So I'm going to gift this to a friend of mine that will definitely enjoy this. I am a little bit lactose intolerant, so I will probably make another version for myself with just some store-bought non-dairy creamer. Mm. Oh man, this is good. What I recommend is Learn the base recipe, and then you can really personalize your own Irish cream to your personal taste. You can add cinnamon, you can increase the chocolate, decrease the coffee, whatever. You can really turn it into something special for yourself or someone you care about.